All right. Fine. You want me to fire someone, I'll fire someone. But it's not personal. It's just business. <laughs> well, for starters, you can't be AJ and Danny. They're the best looking by far. And everybody knows that eye candy is good for business. <laughs> True that. <laughs> can't fire Buzzy because of the deal we made when I bought the place was that he gets to keep the name and the job. Smooth move, girlfriend. You go, girl. <laughs> but was my best friend since we're nine, so that's a non-starter. Not gonna cry, not gonna cry. <laughs> can't fire Joy because someone here would probably kill himself if I did. <laughs> Loosen your butthole, Mo. I'm not gonna say who it is. <laughs> so that leaves Charmaine Eskowitz. Yeah. Like I'm firing the black Jew at my company. That way I can get sued and beat up. Not gonna happen. <laughs> All right. So let's circle back because regardless of everything I just said, I know exactly who I'm gonna fire. I quit. And that person is AJ, AJ, you're fired. I'm sorry. Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm quitting. You don't have to do this. Someone's gotta take the bullet, all right? And it might as well be me. <laughs> What's wrong, Lonnie? That was just hard to watch. What was? Ben and Rita seeing each other like that. What's weird about Ben and Rita seeing each other? They had intercourse two nights ago. What? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You said you weren't gonna say anything. Mo, I couldn't think of anything else to talk about. Great. Now my sisters know. Oh, yeah, right, like you didn't tell your sisters. Of course I didn't tell my sisters. You think I want my family to know I had a go below? What? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. If anyone here had a go below, it was me, all right? I mean, come on, come on. Look at her and look at me, huh? I am looking at you. It's like looking at a very hairy six-year-old. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, well, guess what, Rita? You talk like a cartoon dinosaur. No, I do not! And for your information on planet Earth, I'm the bigger catch, right? I'm cute to handsome. I own my own business. You know what? You want to know the truth? I can tell you the oh, truth. Oh, yeah. yeah? I, I faked my orgasm. orgasm! I've got bagels. <laughs> I just won a lotto scratcher. Crazy, right? First time ever. Scratch off those three little dollar signs, and I was like, yeah! I'm getting bagels for those people who work for me. Wait, you do know our teacher died last night in the hospital. I, yeah, I know. AJ texted me. So sad. <sighs> Moment of silence. And scene. Anywho, <laughs> you've got your lock schmear, your chive schmear, your regular schmear, your low fat schmear, buzz, who loves ya? Hey, don't you feel any remorse about what happened? Why? Not my fault. The guy was one ahem away from the uh, hereafter. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna... Pay my respects. I don't know if you can hear me, Mr. Painter. But if you can, I just want to say two words to you. Ha and ha. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not really sad. But I do want to show my friends I'm not a heartless monster. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create the illusion of grief by hanging my head like I've seen in so many movies. <laughs> Convincing? If it's convincing, don't say anything. <laughs> Good, that's what I thought. Now I'm gonna shake my shoulder so it looks like I'm crying. <sighs> is he crying? That's what it looks like. Oh no, look what time it is. Time for the big finish. Oh man, I'm gonna bring the show on home with a hot woman kiss on your ice cold forehead. Wouldn't be surprised if the crowd goes, oh. Where I had no idea there were drugs in that car, okay? There's been a mistake. You have to believe me. Yeah, then why would you spend your time leading the cops in that high-speed chase back? I, I ran a light, okay? And I, I, I freaked. I, I don't know. I thought they'd assume the car was stolen. Why would they assume that, Doug? Did you steal the van? No, I didn't steal the van. I... It belonged to this girl that I met down in Ensenada. All right? I was there on break, and we kind of had a thing. 
Oh, God, you, 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 someone's got to call my dad and tell him there's been a misunderstanding. Please, uh, any of you, I don't care. One of you. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. You got to just calm down. Calm down, will you? I'm trying. This girl got a name? Uh, Mia. Yes, Mia Randall. Is she American? Yeah, yeah, she, she's a senior at UNLV. Doug, did, did Mia ask you to drive her car back here? Okay, look, I know this sounds sketchy, but it's not like that. All right, Mia, Mia has this ex, and, 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 and he was there, and, and you know, he, she was afraid that he'd follow her on the way home, so she took a plane and asked me if I would drive just... her car back here. Yes, fine, yes, she asked me to drive her car back, and I did, but she didn't pack it full of drugs. I'm a freshman pledge. Beaver was kind of like my mentor in the fraternity. When Beaver... Uh, your mentor asked you to hack into Professor Twardosh's files to steal tests. What did he think? At first, I said no. But you know what? Beaver was your brother. That's right. He was a brother who was on academic probation. I mean, he was going to get expelled if he didn't pass the chem course. Plus, I know it may not have looked like it from the outside, but Beaver was a great guy. So, I had to help him. Our computer expert said that some info was erased from Beaver's hard drive, erased by someone who knew what they were doing. That was me, too. JPEG files, I think about 30 of them. Digital photographs. Yeah. I, I didn't see any of them, but before I permanently deleted them, Beaver had asked me to put four specific ones onto a USB drive. So I did. Look, I, I told you everything, OK? It, but if my college finds out that I hacked into the chem test, they're going to kick me to the curb. Okay. Uh, so you guys going on some sort of road trip to Philmont this weekend? I just went down to visit my bro. Almost didn't make it back. Almost didn't make it back. Dude, it's just college. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I didn't sleep for three days, okay? I don't have any money left in my bank account. And I maxed out my parents' credit card, which was only supposed to be used in case of an emergency. I tried smoking a tampon, wet my brother's bed twice. Stole a car, got in a bar fight, ate some goldfish, played naked frisbee, found a tattoo on my lower back of a unicorn. Don't remember getting that. I laughed, I cried. So all in all, I'd say it was pretty much the best weekend of my life.